So, let's get into this unboxing, shall we? All very exciting. Turn this around for you. Package very nice. Let's get it out. Woo! We'll just move the box out of the way. Down there. Okay, so what have we got in this little box of treats? So, we've got Let's Get Started, Smart Baby Monitor with 5 inch colour screen and smartphone app. So, just a little instruction manual. Let's get to the more good stuff. Okay, let's take this lid off. And down there. Firstly, plugs. One plug. And two plug. Simple mains plugs. Next, we have the monitor screen. Okay, so it says a five inch colour monitor screen. And then we have the camera itself. Let's put that down there. So then we have the camera itself. Uh, all pretty straightforward, really. Um, nothing extra, nothing than what you would expect. I'll have a quick look through the instructions, see if there's anything I massively need to pay attention to. Um, other than that, simple well, uh, two plugs, exactly the same for either mini USB ports on the back. So either one will fit into either one, uh, USB port on the back there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick setup for where we want to put the monitor and the camera and I will show you when I've done it. See you in a minute. Hey YouTube, so I've got the camera set up and now you're looking at the monitor. First impressions, um, good and bad to be honest. Uh, good, there's a lot of different features and I'll, I'll show you a couple of those in a second. So there's a lot of good little features. Um, the bad, the quality of the screen is a little, it's quite poor. It's a lot poorer than what I expected it to be. Also, one of the um, one of the good things that it does, it doesn't do it very well. So you can pan with the camera. Like again, I'll show you in a second. You can pan with the camera. In terms of going from left to right, it's brilliant. In terms of going up to down. It's quite limited, um, so I've quickly just set the the camera up in uh, Mia's bedroom so you can get a feel of how it works. We are going to be lowering her cot, so this will probably have uh, an impact on where the camera finally does sit. Uh, but to begin with, let me show you some of those little features. So, the first one, like I said about the pan, so if you press OK here, and if you hold right, it turns, and hold left, it turns back again. So you have got quite a wide range of vision on that. The problem, as I mentioned before, is it going up and down. So here it is down all the way, and here it is going up all the way. Up, down, and that is it not great in my opinion some of the other features uh, it's going to be difficult to tell because I'm in a different room but if you hold talk a little microphone light comes on the bottom right you talk you might even be able to hear me slightly in the background it's very loud so Mia should be able to hear us quite easily you just let go of the talk button again to stop you then have got such things like uh, screen brightness so you can turn that down and turn that up. Then we've got in the menu, like I said, I won't go through all of these, but this, yeah, this is little lullabies which are quite smart. So if you just drop it down, I'm sure you can hear it now. And there's five of those. Let's go up and turn that off. And then some of the other things you've got is a feature for turning the monitor off. You've got zoom, uh, so you just 
click up, click down, and you can see it zooms in and out. Uh, you've got noise detection, so if Mia's in there crying because she wants a mum, uh, it will activate the screen, so that's an option. And one of the things I'll quickly show you is temperature. So you can choose either Fahrenheit or Celsius. We've got it in Celsius, and it's currently uh, 18 degrees in there. So this is the the monitor. Like I said, the, the big problem for me is the quality of the screen and the fact that you don't have much uh, tilt up and down on it. But a couple of things that you might be interested to know, which I did read in the instructions. So the unit itself will last up to four hours once it's fully charged. Now, we'll probably keep ours plugged in anyway, but it, you have got that. So it will last up to four hours. And the other thing is the range. So the maximum range between parent and baby is up to 250 metres outdoors and up to 50 metres indoors. So thick walls and doors reduce the unit's range. So it's it's a it's got good good range to it. So we we only live in a small house. In fact, we're we're moving. We're in the process of sorting out moving. Um, so we only live in a small house. So it will be plenty for us. One of the things I did really like. Uh, it's going to be difficult for me to show for you where I am now, but the way it picks up noise. I've mentioned before, it's brilliant. Um, so I've tested it before. I stood outside, clicked my fingers, and the camera picked it up clearly. So some lots of good features and some not so good. But next we're going to go and have a look at the app. Okay, we've now got the app set up. And I've got to say, uh, certainly the screen quality has made a massive difference. Uh, you've got the same features as you have with the, uh, with the unit itself. So, for example, you can turn the camera... Um, you've also got, which is quite nice, you've got pinch to zoom. So I'm doing this one-handed. So you've got pinch to zoom. That's good. I like that. Also, you have the same features of being able to use lullabies and being able to speak on the microphone. One thing you haven't got on this is you haven't got any of the tilt up and down feature at all which is a bit of a shame. It's a shame that it, the camera can't do that much anyway, but you haven't got anything on this, so it's something to bear in mind. One good feature, though, is uh, my phone kept going off to do with the temperature of the room, so I kept getting notifications when it got too hot. So, all in all, yeah, uh, impressed with the app. Probably more impressed with the app overall than the, the unit itself, but it does lack that tilt function that's the only thing but yeah so far so good so overall first impressions of the bt smart baby monitor if i was to score it i would probably give it three and a half out of ten it's got a lot of good features which i've mentioned throughout the video including the lullabies the fact he's got an app the camera spin the microphone the temperature all very good points what lets it down is the quality of the screen and also the tilt ability of the camera. Now, this cost £116.99p off Amazon. I will link it below. So as I said, I would score it 3.5 out of 10. Me and M feel that we'll be happy with it, and it will certainly do the job that we need. We just need a baby to, uh, to be able to sleep through the night now. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, always appreciate it. If you can, we would always appreciate a like and a subscribe. Uh, other than that, we hope you have a nice weekend. If you see the rest of the channel, we have plenty of videos, including reviews and stuff through having a newborn baby up to she's now 10 months. And we'll continue making videos like that. So thank you very much. Bye bye.